So at this phase of the painting, after completing this area, I decided to move up to draft work. And the reason being is in this area of the painting, and in this area of the painting particularly, there's a massive problem in this area being covered in a whole blaze of white water droplets. So the choices I had was either to essentially randomly place water droplets or at the risk of um, making the illusion fall down through misplaced objects, I decided I had to find out how to f understand the dispersal of water in these key areas and quite large areas, especially when the composition is this big. So what I had to do was take original photographic material that's helping me build this painting and I had to take it back into uh, software and push and pull the brightness and the contrast until I could make out certain types of forms that hung in the three-dimensional space in, in a certain way. So it at least allowed me to draft some clues as to uh, how these environments interacted kind of with the background and the foreground. There's really kind of messy clarification between how things dissolve. So I embarked on two months, essentially, of drafting this entire area. And the droplets look very bold. And most of these droplets won't be the colours that they've been drafted in. The whole point of drafting them this way was to really get an appreciation of how dispersal was working, even though the water droplets would take on another colour eventually. When, we, when I build in that three-dimensional aspect, they will fade into their correct perspective positions.